So this is pre-calculus, topic seven. We're talking about different function types, and we'll talk about exponential functions now. So a couple things uh, to notice about exponential functions. They grow by repeated multiplication. And um, they will have an x-intercept that's not at zero, zero. So not at zero, zero, it's going to be zero something. And, uh, and I called it b, I'll just, uh, it's just some value. I'm going to use b as a different uh, value, so I'm going to, I don't want to use that. So the general form for these is y equals a times b to the x. See why I didn't use b there. Um, let's just call it w. I don't know why I like w. So um, let's do a little curve fitting. If I had an equation uh, or a graph that went through 110 and say uh, 4, and 156.25. And I'm, I'm looking at it, it doesn't go through zero, zero. I'm just gonna guess that it's exponential. Let me model it and try and write an equation for it. And I can write that equation by using these points. So for example, this point for 156.25, I can plug that into my general equation. First one's x, second one's y. So 156.25 equals a times b to the x, that's the fourth power. And my next one is the point 110. So 10 is equal to a times b to the first power. And now what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to do some division. I can, I can divide this by this. So if I go, notice if I go 156.25 divided by 10, that should be the same as if I go a times b to the fourth divided by a times b to the first. Because this is equal to that, and this thing is equal to that. So if I do this division, that divided by 10, that's just um, 15.625 equals A divided by A cancels out. B to the fourth divided by B to the first, that's just B cubed. Great. And if I want to know what, what B is equal to, to get rid of that, that third, I can, I can cube root both sides. So you have a cube root button on your calculator. Notice that's also the same as going to the one-third power. So if you're not sure where that cube root button is, just use the one-third power. And uh, let me do that on my calculator. 15.625 uh, to the power of one-third, 2.5. So b is equal to 2.5. So let me plug that back into this equation so I can find a. n is equal to a times 2.5 to the first power. Divide both, both sides by 2.5, and I get 4. So a is 4, when b is 2.5. So my equation for this would be y equals a is 4 times 2.5 to the x power. Great. And notice when it's exponential, x is in the exponent. And that 4 is actually that value right there, too. That's where it crosses 